Oh, and welcome to race number three of the Diet Dr. Pepper series, hosted by Gavin Lemons, also known as Griffin2448. We are set to qualify here in our Gen 4 car at Vegas, and I'm hoping it'll be a fun race like Rockingham was last week. And not quite like how Daytona was. <laughs> so... Judging by practice times, which may or may not be reflective of what qualifying times will be. So long as we can get under 30 seconds, we should be able to make the 43 car field. So, uh, I'm going to focus on just keeping the car steady the first lap. Not really making a banker lap, but just making sure I don't get loose. Not pushing too hard. And hopefully getting a solid lap in. So that's what we're doing now. Alright, decent one and two. And then the second lap we'll see if we can push a little harder. Even with those slightly older tires here. There we go. Smooth lap. We're in the 29 fives. What else can we get out of this thing? A little bit faster there through one and two, just a tiny, tiny bit. Um, uh, we got loose. Dang it. it. Might make this lap slower. And just barely it did, so that's fine. I'm happy with how the first lap went. Don't think it'll be the greatest time out there, but I think it should do us all right. It's looking pretty good right now. Right now P1, but still a lot of people to go, I'm sure. I'm going to treat this race kind of like I treated... Uh, Arca here at Las Vegas, once I learned how to drive it a little bit. Obviously you can get on the right route much easier in this car, but we also have a lot more laps to do here today. So I'm going to do some big lifts off, and then get on the throttle as we get through the middle and the exit of the corner. Hopefully uh, balance those tires, don't get on the right front too much. Get that. And uh, we'll put that back on, so if Gavin needs to say anything, or anybody says anything important, <laughs> I'll be able to hear it. Shane asking if he's good, he might not uh, be in the show, he's worried. We're still P1, we might have gotten the pole. We'll do a practice pit stop here. I think I got a good idea of where I want to start braking and such. Look out for the pit space Should be able to get in just fine if we need to. Still be one. Nick Robinson still has uh, laps to do. Nicholas Wing also fast. And Logan and Nathan I don't really know that much. But they could still usurp our time. Hope I didn't miss anyone talking to me. I don't want to make it seem like I'm ignoring anybody. I was just uh, starting my video, so I wanted to uh, make sure I remained focused as I explained where we are and what we're doing. I guess we can go back, see if anybody said anything. But then, what if I miss someone saying something now? There's no winning. I think we're good. And no one said anything too recently either. So, alright. Don't think I missed anything. Hopefully not. Apologies if I did. Paranoid about it. Still Nicholas Wing has not qualified. At all. He didn't even put one lap in. Is he here? Oh, there he is down there. Huh. 
So we had 50 plus people show up this time, I believe. We get the poll. Heck yeah. That's the end of the session. Poll position. Nice one. Practice pays off. Wouldn't you believe it? Shout out to Ian, uh, the 85. He did a uh, practice session for us. Uh, he set one up for the league. And uh, I jumped in there for a bit. So thank you to him for doing that. I do believe I that helped out me being able to put that lap in. Heck, my second lap was going to be faster, but I messed up three and four. Maybe that's what happened to a lot of guys. When they tried to push, they uh, ended up getting loose. So there's your cut line. Dan just barely makes it in right here. And unfortunately, your list of guys that didn't quite make the cut. We have 10 outside of the cutoff. But they will be in the heat race if they so wish to be. Couple people saying, nah, I'm, a, I'm good. The pace car in the outside. But we do have five guys here going for the sprint victory. So definitely feeling good about putting it on pole. Nick Robinson put it in the wall the first lap. I bet he probably would have uh, beat us out if he didn't do that. And Dakota in P2, he was very fast last race as well at Rockingham. I think, didn't he get the pole last time, I believe? So he's really good in Q. All right, Gavin giving us a thank you. Or I'm saying thank you to him saying congrats. I don't know why he would say thank you for qualifying. Well, that doesn't make any sense. So we will watch the heat race and I will put a uh, bookmark in to or the chapter is what they call it for the YouTube video. If you want to head straight to the start of the feature. Because we will also have the warm up. Green, 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 green. You've got one gallon left. Two minutes to go. Two minutes. In fact, maybe I'll just let you go. I don't know. We'll watch the heat race. Probably skip over warm up though, because there's nothing interesting going on there. But here we got a race going on. Gregory back and out. It looks like. Maybe he's counting on these guys wrecking or something. Not sure. But the 19 had already gotten the wall. And he is side by side. Robert is with Nathan. But there is already a pretty big gap between first and second. Oh no, Logan in the wall on entry to one. That's going to lose him some time. Magzim, I think is how you say the name. I apologize if wrong. He's out front though. Hello to him. He's commented on my videos before, I believe, if he's the same guy I'm thinking of. Knocking it out of the park here in the heat race. Oh, go. Oh, no. Oh, go, I said. Robert getting sideways. Very loose race car. Easy to do. He gets it heading back the right direction, though. And your chase for the Cup 2005. Chevy is in the lead still. I like that. I think they had the same paint scheme in that game. It seems very familiar. That's fun. Logan's trying. He's trying, but he's getting sideways. Couldn't quite do it. That was the end of the race. Just a quick three-lap sprint. He gave it his all out of the final corner. The heat win goes to your 095 car. Congrats to Magzim. I apologize again if I messed up your name. <laughs> Fun stuff. All right, so that will be the heat race, and uh, we will join back up for the feature here in about three minutes. I'll see you there. Back at it, getting ready to start the feature. 
grid time is pretty quick, so I went ahead and restarted the recording now, as it's just about to end. Oops, Gavin's saying something. Fun. Just do what we did at Rockingham, and a, and a reminder to everyone and myself, let's be careful on these restarts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good reminder. Let me not self-spin from the pole. That would be probably the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me. So let's not do that. We'll give a good luck. The old GL. Doesn't stand for good looking. I don't know what I'm talking about. I, I think I'm funny sometimes. White Castle. Oh, someone must have a White Castle paint scheme. <laughs> Go win this, Rick says. You have four additional sets of tires for this race. Be smooth and have a good run. He's in. Is he in the race? He is in the race, right? Yeah. The track temp is. Oh, I don't know how to bring back this thing. I was gonna say good luck to him, but I say good luck to everybody. You're in pole. I actually don't know how to use the uh, stuff too much. Why did I just get rear-ended? Hi, Colton. Follow the pace car <laughs> to the outside column. Can't go wrong, man. Hi. <laughs> what a kind guy Nick is. He's giving me a free spot. Oh, no, Nick! Worked for him last time. Oh, Nick. Oh, never mind. That time it was not free. He did not mean to do it. Oh, he paid the price. Tell her I felt a raindrop. You got storms out there now? I know I got storms out here in NC, so. <laughs> Well, it should be long enough if he can get back going, hopefully. <laughs> I hope so. That sucks. I think it's first gear start. Hey, guys, behind me, I'm going to fall back. I'm having some connection issues with my Oculus, so I'll let y'all get in front of me for a little while. About to go green. Stay focused. Hopefully first gear is not a terrible mistake, I but I think we uh, want to do that. Okay, carry on. Relax. That was not what I wanted to do. Terrible start. Why is he all up on me? Well, first gear wasn't the play, but that's okay. We, we learned. Hopefully Nick can get back into it. That really sucks. He already wasn't able to make the first race of the season. And then with his wheel issues in, in his own league, in the K5 Championship. Hate to see that. Might be overdriving, we'll do bigger liftoffs. Since we have a half second already. You're now in the lead. The guy behind has just done a 30.2. I'm gonna stay with my plan though. If it's uh, not the right way to do it, that's okay. We'll learn. Audio just did a weird thing. Almost sound like it was gonna freeze. That would be very bad. We'll see if uh, it's actually the right rear that we need to protect. That could be the case.
88 catching back up a little bit. That's okay. I kind of wanted that to happen because I felt like I was going a little bit too fast. I like to have you, brother. Thank you. We'll let the 88 go if necessary. He's getting close. It's not rotating as much as I would expect with the big lifts off, lift offs I'm doing, so maybe I do need to ease it up a little bit. I might be getting on the right front more than I expect with how I'm driving. I got a little bit of a bobble there. It's okay, I didn't lose too much. Just can't make a habit out of it. Just hit the wall and got into the grass behind us. He was looking at my rear bumper, I think. That sucks. That's very unfortunate. Really early to be getting damage. I apologize to him for leading him astray. Well, that was a guy I was going to let by. It's not happening anymore. See, Nick Robinson went from 7th to 4th in one lap. He must be moving forward. Wow, that transition is crazy. They're right behind me. That's okay, I don't need to lead every lap or anything. Be smart about it, lots of laps to do. In fact, we will need two green flag pit stops if this goes green the whole way. Only 40 laps or so of fuel in this thing, a full tank. Hopefully I'm not on overdriving it. Thirty-nine, getting closer. I'm going full right rear pretty much. Which might be a bad idea. But we'll see how it works out. We'll luckily have multiple runs to kind of figure it out. Mitch is behind us now and his 7.2. I think I came up with that code or something, man. So hey, I I yeah, it's, it's all good. That's always intimidating. So you're having fun. Yeah, fun. <laughs> Just going to try not to slide the car. Going to try to avoid it as much as possible gonna really want to step out on me on exit 
and the more I do it, the easier it's gonna Sorry, I was watching the five hit the wall there. happen as the tires heat up and the rears get worn from doing so. So I think the key is just not let it happen as much as I can avoid it. Wanting to. We're already almost halfway through this run. Fuel goes away quick. A half second lead again. You've just done a thirty-one point zero. Car still feels good. Loose. Look good. That time it got pretty loose though. <laughs> Maybe a little less good there. Oh, Dakota left. That sucks. He was doing well already. Smacks the wall. He left early last time, too. Maybe I, I forgot about that. I thought we made contact, but I let out and hit the wall. Rip. Getting a little more patient on throttle now since it's getting so loose on exit. I guess we just take it full uh, length of the run, right? We'll see what other people do. Is Nick going to the top? No way. Is that viable? I saw him up there, and I see him in second place. Those two things are related. Like, that's why he's catching me, baby. That's pretty cool if it is. I would love to have another line come in. Yeah, look at him up there. That's awesome. Don't catch me, though. <laughs> he's doing it. What a runoff he's getting. Well, guys, I just got a black screen. Who had it in the Y'all have fun. That thing. Yeah, I gotta figure this out. I've been using this VR for two weeks now. I had this top. I've been it like three times, so. Nick's taking that high line. I wonder if I'm gonna have to figure that out. How bad is that on the right front, though? Sorry, I took a spot. Is it enough to matter? Because if I'm, break, oh, I'm good, wearing my right rear, if anything, it's helping okay, balance it more if it's on the right front. Yeah, appreciate it. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. I'll look forward to watching you. Yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'll watch you having a bit. Wasn't good. Uh, call it a night. Have fun. Got loose there. That was a bad corner. Take it easy, Shane. Did not work for him in one and two, though, I don't think. High line, I mean. I feel like we're getting some distance again. That was intriguing, though. I'll give him that. That was very interesting. That he was running that high line, and it was working. 
I don't know if that killed his tires or if uh, it just wasn't working as well anymore or what. That was a bad corner. Got through sideways. But that was cool to see him up there. Still green, by the way. Also very, very cool. We're just going to run long if, uh, if we're still going to be maintaining the lead here. Ooh, I had to aggressively counter steer on that one. Okay, Walter. Hot chance are pretty consistent. Still getting pr plenty of green. Seems like. Oh, it really wants to turn to the left out of turn four. It's a little of an unsettling feeling when you're done turning and the car's not done turning. We got a big gap to third, but Nick Robinson really hanging in there still. Oh no, what happened to What's the name, Perrin? He was right behind us not too long ago. He must have pitted in or something. If, if people are starting to pit, maybe got a black flag. That sucks. That's another person that was running up front out of the race. That's something we're really going to have to do is make sure that we don't get a black flag. I've ruined my races doing that before, and that is a terrible feeling. Oh man, we're losing them. That was a, another internet connection loss. Nick's hanging in there back behind us. Only four tenths. Car still feels good. Had to maintain the rear tires a little bit more. But they're still manageable right now. 11 laps of fuel left. Good consistency. Keep them coming. What's 130, 134 divided by 3? Wife, can you help me? I need math. I need to know when to pit. Let's see, uh, 32 times 3, 96, 40 times 42. I hate doing math when I'm trying to drive. That's what crew chiefs are for. She didn't hear my plea for help, I don't think. Um, 50, 50, Two, forty-five times three. That sounds about right. Just trying to think about what would be optimal. I think we really just do want to go full tank. I 
think that's just the way to do it. Point eight behind us while I was trying to do math, apparently I got faster. People are pitting in now though. Am I wrong? And we're just gonna go full tank, I guess. The car's getting a little bit tight though, as I'm not paying attention enough to how I'm driving. Fitness lap, fitness lap. I don't even think we can make it. Uh oh. I don't even think we can make it on two stops, is what I was going to say. Now it doesn't matter. Someone spun it on. That was my bad. I can't believe it. Neck Of course, that's the tires. We're definitely going to come in. Another good reason to stay out long, I guess. Same. Pete Road is now open. It's are open. Wait on the pace car. Hey, yeah, make sure to lead the way through the field. Yeah, no problem. That was fun. Hey, where you at? Uh, where you at, nine car? Me, Robbie. Yeah, where you at, eight car? Just hold on. Come on, you gotta get past it. We got a pit now. Watch your speed. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. We'll need to stop again to get to the end. All right. That's one less green flag pit stuff we have to worry about, I think. Five, four, three, two, one. Right here. That's my bad, Nick. I can't believe I made that mistake. Like, I knew you were a fan. I was just slow trying to steer up a ton. Go, go, go! Alright. What is the fuel situation? 44 laps. I'm gonna save until I know that we don't need to save. 44 laps, 70, 90... Interesting. Okay. So that's 96 laps to go. Half of that, 48... 48 plus 38... Yeah, where's, the, where's the car? Or the base car? Uh, coming out of four right, right now. Six. I guess we'll plan to come in about lap 88 or something. I think that's about what I want to plan here. Maybe a little longer. In case this happens again. I'm assuming it was a pit entry accident. I guess I don't know for sure. Gracie was claiming a fault on that one, it sounds like. So I was good on my rear tires. I was able to get it on the rear tires. Really all I can hope for, I think. How did Tracy end up in second? Was he in second? I thought... Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought Nick Robinson was in second. How did he end up back there? Good first run, everybody. Uh, let's remember to be careful on the restarts. Yeah, the race up front was amazing. Yeah, top 15 looked like the raw fun stuff the whole time, basically. It was nuts up there. 
I know we were three wide at one point. That's okay. definitely something to go watch back. I guess I'm lucky I wasn't part of that. It sounds like they were having a time. I wonder if I got lucky that first run that they had to battle each other so much. And it's not going to be as fortunate for me this time. That's interesting. I know now not to use first gear. I guess I should have known in, this, in the Gen 4, but it really just felt like we had so much room and then not so much. Room as in... Tracy, what were your tires? One left to green. Green. Room RPM-wise. 52.49. Yeah, mine was 43.29. Wow, I did much better that tires. Really that I'm 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 I swore I was clear. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the replay. Was it net code? No. I was hoping it was net code, but that was so close. All right, we'll try to get another good run yeah, out no, of this. There's a whole lot of uh, left front fender. So far, so good, but we are only 40 laps in. I think we just run this dry again. 83. Yeah. I'm saving fuel. I want to go as long as possible. I don't know if we can make it to the end. About to go green. Stay focused. If we go a full tank, it's close. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Holy gaps, guys. Come on. Green, green flag. flag. Green flag. All right. Get ourselves about a point four, point three lead. And we'll just try to do it the same way again. Hopefully it'll work out for us. Audio's been kind of weird. Something weird's going on with this track and car combo specifically. Sometimes it gets like this weird filter sound over the engine noise. I wonder if that comes through on the video or not. But... I wonder if we can get fastest lap too. That would be cool. Uh, someone else just got it, though. Trying to get that rotation in it, bounce it, without getting it too loose. You can go low, Nick. We got a nice gap, though. So maybe I back off a little, little bit more. I don't want to do it on exit though, I liked how the balance was there. Buddy. No pressure Tracy, I'm just kind of riding here behind you. Did you not have any damage? No, I had zero. I had to be very slight. Contact. Quite a few guys lap down ahead. Holy shit. 40 seconds for me. Oh, Nick Robinson was in that. Okay, that's what happened. I didn't realize. That's very unfortunate. I'm going to back it down even more. Because there's a big gap behind us now. Man, Nick Robinson was looking really strong. I was worried he was going to catch us long run. It sounds like he got 40 seconds of damage, and that's not going to help his cause. Hate that for him. He's had some bad luck in league races. 
getting uh, caught up and stuff. Ian in second place. You know, he's been practicing since he hosted that practice. A little bit too low there. Got my car on sideways. He getting a ton that corner. I guess I was about a tenth off for some reason. Didn't feel like I went that much slower, but that's what my last lap says. Session last lap. He's catching. I want to push yeah, hard. I'm save, none of y'all planning that. I gotta go. <laughs> He's catching up. I think everybody's backed it down a little bit this run. <laughs> yeah, that last run was intense. I hope he's wearing his tires out, catching me like that. The grass last run. Else, that's not looking good for us. I think one of those was me, or well, I caused one of those. He's catching. One point four back to third, that's Mitch. We're gonna have to let Ian go and just hope that he's being harder on the tires, I think. He's flying. He's right on us now. The lap time was at 30.9. Oh, close to my rear end there. I think I'm lifting off more than he is. Which, whether that's necessary or not, I don't know. Like I said, I'm kind of just mirroring the way I learned to do it in Arca here, recently. Going a thousand miles an hour catching up to us. Now he's kind of just hanging there. He might just be being patient. Got the three coming up as the lap traffic. Imagine he'll go high for us. 
Or pit. That hurts too. Oh, big lose for Ian back there. That'll lose him a little bit of time. Got to make sure I don't do that same thing. It's very easy to do. Falling back now. Or was it just a lap or two that he had that was just a little off? Just gonna keep hitting my marks, try to be consistent, and see what happens. I changed my approach based on that. are getting more worn, so I'm being more gentle on throttle. I'm going to overdone at that corner. That was not a good lap. Back to hitting consistent laps. Shadows are kind of messing with my eyes a little bit on entry. Twenty laps of fuel still in it. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Just a ton of focus right now, just trying to hit the laps, clicking them off one at a time, trying to make no mistakes. That's what it's all about right now. Little loose there, had to lift off on exit. Lost me in my run off the corner. Point four back there. He's hanging on just like Nick Robinson was the first run. Go ahead, Gary. Give me plenty to think about. Hope I'm doing the right strategy thing. Just going long because I feel like we're going to need as much fuel to the end as we can get. I hope we're not supposed to be saving fuel right now to fit into a fuel window. So I'm certainly not doing that. Uh, 
I'm just driving the car, man. Same lamps. Oh, that got a pull to the left out of the corner. That's that very unsettling feeling I was talking about. Where you're basically on the straightaway, but it still wants to be pulling left. Only gotten that a couple times, but it's very unfriendly. Not what you want to feel out of the car. Oh no, Ryan Thompson back in 37th. I wonder if he's had some issues. He's usually pretty fast up here. I imagine he must have run into something for him to be back there. That was at the 12.6. Alright. Up to point six behind us. Really want to see that number grow more and more. Just to get things a little more comfortable up here. halfway in the race. Audio's doing that weird filter sound thing. Turns 1 and 2 still messing with my brain with the shadows. Thirteen laps. Got people pitting in. Wonder if we'll get another caution. That was a good turn one and two, at least compared to last lap. Got head pitting. That's all right. We have plenty of room. If everyone else pits behind me, obviously I'll come in. They'll probably know the right thing to do. Plus, there's no real, real point in me staying out, I don't think. Unless I couldn't make it. It's for one more fuel stop, but I don't think I can. Yeah. Very tricky fuel spot here. 47 laps, I believe. A full tank of fuel. What lap would we need to get to? Man, I gotta do more math? Why has it gotta be math? Why can't I do, like, multiple choice question? Figure out my pit strategy. <laughs> be a lot easier for me right now. It's close, but I don't think we can make it. It's so tough. I think I'd have to make it to 87? My math is probably wrong, though. I'm so focused on keeping this thing not from going sideways. So I don't think I could make it. Even if I went full tank, I don't think I could make it to the end. So that's why people are pitting now. I...
I'll watch the guys behind me. I bet I will the next lap. There are guys out here making up a lot of time on me though. Fresh tires. Sixteen, I'm not gonna fight you, I'll let you have it down here. Alright, Colton, the up times are pretty consistent. Fast car coming up. Inside. Keep high. Clear inside. Had to go high line there. Really what I want. Five laps of fuel, we'll just run it to the end, I guess. Oh, I don't hope I, I ruin this race for me, messing something up with the strategy. I'm gonna pit. Gavin's pitting. Laps a few left. Eighty five pitting this time. Pitting in, pitting in here. Jordan, I'm pitting this lap. Alright, a little slow, but serviceable. We'll need to stop again. Full fuel. Pit box in. Ten. Five. Three. Two. Thirty-one ping at five. Thirty-one ping at five. Okay, we pit in. Fifty forty-five. Forty-two pit in this time. All right, clean so far for the that green flag pit. On speed. Five this time, five this time. Ian gained time on us, it looks like, point eight back there. It's okay. At least I didn't mess it up. Easy cold tires, easy on the cold tires. We cannot make it on fuel. Forty two laps ish. We're about 10 something laps short on fuel. We can't save that. So we're just going to keep going. We're going to divide this run in half, I guess. So we'll say 19. You're in the top 10. Lap 108, I guess? I don't know. <laughs> Quit yelling at me! <laughs> my brain's screaming math in my head. Trying to race. So we got some guys ahead that have not pit yet, I believe. That's Bryce up there, pitting in. Now, me getting sideways. Now. Okay, we're back in the lead then. Full cycle. We are 2.1. And a caution comes out. Okay. Interesting.
Right, That's like weird. On top there. Wreck, wreck out of four, recover guys. Wreck out of four. Catch up 30, car. Catch up 95, car. You gotta pass me a car. Go for it. Base car is out. Line up single file. Try about the a wall. Exits out. Closed. We're gonna come in, I guess? I don't know, I don't know, I'm so confused. I don't remember how to tell you, but my tires were 64 or 60. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. Let the pace car by. What happened to bring out the caution? Pit road's open. Uh, someone moved it. I think it was someone just coming out of the pits on fresh tires. I'm gonna pit, if only, just so we can maybe make it on fuel, it I guess. Yeah, I just got loose overcorrected here to the wall. Look out for the pit speed limit. Watch your speed limit in the pits. Did I just make a big mistake? We think we'll need to stop again. Hitboxing, 10, 5, 3, 2, 1, right here. This racing is intense, man. These are fun. Yeah, this has been a blast. I've been really enjoying it. Car's going to drive here, too. Go, go, go! Yeah, when once those tires get worn down and get so loose on the front stretch even, real fun. Yeah, my tires are horrible. But that highlight boogie makes it worth it. That's not going to be a wave run, is it? No, we're staying out, unfortunately. We can make it on fuel, can't yeah, we now? Yeah, like... Oh boy. What lap are the leaders on? 86, about to go on 87. It's our open. Who said it? Am I dumb? I don't know. I might be dumb. I love your songs, man. Yep. I sang them good. Damn right. You know, Cody, every time I race with you, I think that, but I never say it. Sorry, I'm trying to do math. I know I'm not talking much. I'm wondering if I made a huge mistake pitting there. 42... I mean, we might be able to make it on fuel if we... It's so close on fuel. I can't let this slip away from me because I'm... I don't save enough fuel. Man, Gab, I didn't know you were third. That's awesome. Yeah, I managed to get the top five there, and then I was fourth right when that caution came out the last time. I want to pit again. It's too many people behind me. Did you pit pretty early? Uh, I think I pit like a lap or so the leaders did, so not that early. Very interesting. Five laps short. That's a lot of laps. One to go. It might have been dumb to pit there. Get ready. Race the at the end of this lap. Now do I try to get spots back, or do I worry about tire or fuel saving? I don't know. I don't know. Oh my 
I don't want to be hitting the brakes right now. You see other guys saving fuel. gonna have to go full fuel save I guess at the same time we'll save tires and then if we need to go we'll go 64.6 ah, race lab fuel calculators useless as usual about to go green stay focused Post car is off Green flag, green flag. Oh my god, don't run me over, please. That was so close. E23. Don't rack the three wide. Go ahead, Nate, I'll let you have it. Thank you, sir. I don't know if we're going to be able to save this much. As much as we need to. Oh, 25 in the wall up there. I think Nick's on the t on the fuel saving strategy as well, and I know he has a good fuel calculator, so maybe that makes me feel a little bit better about going for fuel. Rick, I'm uh, not damaged, but cool. Thanks, bud. Yeah, I'll just... Nick. Side. Clear out, God, if you want to. Let me know if you want to get back by or anything. Yeah, I'll be good for a couple laps. Have to save some more. laps to go. Two laps short on fuel. Maybe we can do this. I think Colton and I are playing the same game right now. <laughs> Feels like Russian roulette. Well, it could work. It could be interesting. My guess is there's about three different strategies going on right now. <laughs> 37. The lap time was at 31.1. We're just about two laps short. Yeah. 
to Savoir. The head is increasing. It's now 1.7. Josh, if you're moving, I'll give you a top pilot here. 37, if we can do 37. Okay, we're pretty close. Pretty close, but... Hello? Six. We're right on it now. Just gonna do the patient on the throttle. I mean, hey, maybe it'll pay off with really nice tires too later. Could help us out. Short way around the track for sure. to go. Keeping a close eye on the estimated remaining. We saving enough. We're about a lap short still. How far are they away from us, though? Probably quite a bit. You don't. It's not going to help us if they come around and lap us or something. Thirty estimated. Uh, I don't know, guys. Oh, I see smoke. I need 30. I need 30 left. At the line. We're getting close, but we're not there yet. The lap time was 31.7. Gap to Savoir in front is now 1.2 seconds. I mean, if we run out right here, that's okay. That would be okay. I think we're good on fuel now. 
still have to conserve though, or else we're just gonna go right back to not having enough. At the line, we will have 20, 28 laps to go. So I'm going to keep an eye on this. I don't like driving without my relative up, but I think this is a case where we just have to keep this up. Bottom. Really get the short way there on the track. Pitting this time, pitting this time. We got people pitting. Oh, this is interesting. back to clutching I think. Clutching's not too much slower anyway so I think that might just be the way to be. Nick pitting letting everybody know. Does that mean he has to pee? <laughs> Still just a little short. Five points hitting this time. Five this time. Nine pitting in, nine pitting in. 31 pitting, 31 pitting, 31 pitting. They're all pitting. He's got a whole lap to make up though. Make it. I have to save so much fuel. One, we need 22, lap short again. Careful with cars coming up fast. Oh, my gosh. Captain coming out of the pits. Twenty laps. Uh, I'm right on the edge. Twenty pitting. Twenty. I have no idea. These guys are going so fast, though. Are they just gonna catch me straight up?
15 laps. That's enough. We're just barely at enough. The car behind appears in place. Your last lap time was at 31.7. Car inside, clear inside. Sure, if I was going to clear him in time. I'm so worried I'm eventually going to. Oh no, what's happening up here? The gap to Savoy behind is increasing. It's now the car outside. Clear high. They are running into walls and such. Now you're down. good. Got to do what you got to do. Keep it up. Doing a really good job. You're back in fifth. Car inside. Ah, uh, this is Clear really hurting inside. my ability to save fuel when I can't take the bottom. Hey, heads for position. There's no way he can make it on fuel, though, if I'm this close. I'm hitting this time, Colton. The lead is fitting now. Car inside. Keep yeah, thanks for the heads up. The car in front is fitting. Clear inside. I don't want you to run over back in here. The car behind is fitting. You're back in fourth position. Car outside. Uh, clear up top. Outside. Outside is clear. Cap two. Head up. Head is now. Car outside. Still just right on it. Outside. But how close are they getting? The guys that pit. What a fuel mileage race. This is fun. This is very interesting. But I really don't want to lose what has been a very good race for me. Strategy. I hope it doesn't come down to that. We can make it, but can we win? Kevin back there is on the same strategy, so I don't have to worry about him. I'm just waiting for somebody that has pit to show up on our relative and for my heart to sink. Oh, hey, is he? He might be on. Oh, I don't know. Oh, there, got you the bottom. Car outside. Clear high. Thank you. The gap to header ahead is increasing. It's now 12 seconds. That lap time was 32.2 P3. I don't think. Cody back there in the 08 has fresh tires. I don't think so. He's gaining a, the, a lot though. 10 laps, we're still just right on the dot.
Oh, this is intense. Car in front is pitting. Those are guys that uh, also were going extra long. I don't think they can make it though. Tracy was one of them. The leader's pitting now. According to this, we are point three to the good. You're back in second. We are back in the lead. But will it last? I think we might be okay. That's good consistency. Keep it up. They're going to be coming like rockets, though. But we're good on fuel. Go ahead, Tyler. Chad coming up. Thank you. Still there. Outside is clear. Uh oh. I see Gavin. I know he pit. Uh oh. But we've only got a couple laps to go. Can we hold on to it? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. No! Is the race over? Well, Colton, you didn't want that. No green white checkers, right? Are we done or no? I hope not. I hope it's sad we're done. I hear finishing under yellow. So do we have a green, uh, green, uh, white checker? Five laps of fuel pace left. Out. Line up single file behind the pace car. No we're green, white checker. It's closed. I'm sorry, George. I hit the wall. I got Did me. we win? Nice and smooth. Did we win? <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be the end or not. Two minutes of shootout. No. But I don't want it to end on a one-lap one shootout. You guys need to push him up there. Make him go as fast as he can go. Catch the pace car. Pit road's open. He's still got to be pretty close on fuel. Come on, guys. Try to catch up the pace car, man. It's a one-lap shootout? Start, start finish line here. This car looks to be a four. No! <laughs> I don't want it to be a one lap shootout. Car 35. Got the lucky dog. Let them pass on the outside. Wait, we have three laps left. That's it, isn't it? Let the Who's talking about drive? Car bike. Well, he, he told. Tough way down. Just making sure I got my free position. I think it was a lap down. Wait. 
pretty sure this is going to end under yellow. We haven't even gotten the two to green yet. Oh, that's bad out there. But it is, isn't it? We got two laps to go Focus when we come to the line. And well, I got lucky. I, I saw the big pack coming up behind. The yellow came up. Well, if we get the two to green, Gavin could shorten the caution. No, we can't. <laughs> I like that idea. I don't. I'm just going to let it do what it does. I'm not going to screw over Colton. Just whatever I already think decides. Pit Road is closed right now. I already think that Colton left. Congrats. Yay! I was point two to the good if we went all the way green. Same here. <laughs> good news, Colton. Great job, man. That's fantastic. <laughs> Such a fun race. Great job to everyone. Yeah, that was an awesome race. Didn't expect fuel mileage race, but it really shook it up there. Yeah, great job saving fuel, man. I didn't. I thought I was going to be good, but you were just way better. Good win. Good race. <laughs> Thanks, Kevin. Yay! We did it! Yeah, thank everybody coming out. I mean, that was just fantastic stuff. Just awesome, awesome, awesome race. Hey, good, good stuff on the top six there, Chuck. Good to see you racing here. We're under Thank course. you, Pierre. Yeah, That's close. Yeah, good racing with you, Colton. We did it! Good one. <laughs> yeah, this was my first race out in, uh, with you guys, and uh, I really appreciate it. It was a lot of fun. Great win on the, uh, on the fuel mileage, Colton. That was a lot of fun. I had my doubts. That made that stressful, but uh, it was a lot of fun for sure. Yeah, congrats. Great job. That was a very fun race. Exciting the whole way. Andrew, sorry, a couple laps ago. I kind of split up in three and four. And I wonder what two. caution ended the race. No worries. We'll have to see what happened. We were all trying as hard as I could. I had, had the tires were wore out. Just going as hard as I can. We will. Yep, but good win, Colton. Thanks, Gavin, for this. It's fun. The strategy changed for me like three times. We'll end with uh, about three yeah, laps left. I don't left. think that could have worked out any better with all the strategies that were going around and all the green flag racing. That was just so fun. That was just bad. I'm so happy, oh, man. Like, like I was feeling great. Start of the race. That just didn't happen. At the pace. Then they had that. Is anyone going to run out there, you think? Her ball at the pitting. I was going to sputter at the line. Pace car is out. Pits are closed. Yeah, I was just saying. I was way off pace just to try to get it to the end. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Didn't work. If someone came up and pressured me, it could have been pretty bad, because I was really close. But if I were able to continue at the pace I was going, I think I would have been okay. How far ahead are you? were you of the guys that did it? Cause I know I was falling off at the end. Pit road's open. I saw Gavin back on the relative. I think he might have been the first guy that pit. That got me a little uh, worried. I think it was like 11 seconds back before the caution came out. Wee. I guess I better celebrate, right? <laughs> I'll celebrate a good finish. Forgot that you do that, man. <laughs> Not just sit here and go we in the driver's seat of the car. Good racing, guys. Good race, Matt. <laughs> yeah. Alright, we'll do a, like, a little drift through the grass. Rick with the congrats. Whee! 
We'll do the Carl Edwards and destroy the front end of the car. Going through the grass. Okay, the race is over. Bring it on in. Catch the pace. Is there no logo on the grass here? Man, I was going to do the fuel saving thing, and I thought Nick was as well. And I thought Nick complained by me, so I thought, oh, that's not really going to work. And then I took off and signed the race in. <laughs> Rick. Told you you'd win, he says. <laughs> All right, I'm so happy. That's awesome. So, ending off the race, even with that little slide I did, 70-66. Basically, was not using the tires at all. So, we get the win in race three of the Diet Dr. Pepper series. Looking good. So far, early in the season. Hopefully, this means we can get... Uh, get that win in the truck in is soon but let's not get greedy either <laughs> we'll go ahead and take a look at the incidents oops there we go had the chat queued up so it wasn't working i was confused so lap three we just got a blink from gary might have to skip through his appearances. Here's Dakota slamming the wall. I totally forgot about that. Who knows, he might have been a, right there up there uh, contending with us. He didn't damage it. Because he clearly had some very good speed. 51 getting some wall, lap 9. Nick gets the runoff, oh, and just runs over the 33. He just had a huge runoff of there and caught Sean really fast. I think a uh, little confusion whether that lane was going to be open or not. Unfortunately, you just can't tap any bumpers in this car. So that sent Sean around. Oh, no. And then White Castle kind of drifts up into, that's Rick, the 78. It's a little bit netcode assisted as well. But he was coming up to get him. Just drifted up a little bit too much there, I think. They both keep it straight, though, so I don't think a caution came out for it. Something happens to the 39 as well. I remember he left early. Eighteen more trouble, and this might be when he uh, decided to call it quits. He was fast, but he couldn't keep it uh, off the wall for long enough. 50, if that's Shane. Piece of the wall on entry. We'll just have to skip by these, I suppose. Shane trying to go into the pits, looks like. Oh, he was having connection issues or something, I remember. He had to pull it over. That sucks, I remember he had to leave it. So we'll continue moving right along. Here's Nick running that high side. And I was hyped when I saw him up there. That's always fun. I considered it. I, when I saw him catching, if he was going to like bring it back to me, I might have had to give that a try. I always love running the high line if it's an option. But I was concerned with uh, keeping the tires happy, and I felt like uh, it was still my best option down low to do that. Five. That's Ian. Not sure why we're seeing that necessarily. Very clean race. We obviously only had the couple of cautions. Mitch loose. I think tires are getting worn. I think that's why we're seeing some of this. We got pit stops starting. Looks like it. Jordan sideways, though. Might have had that brake bias back. Might have turned him sideways. 
It is pretty loose out of the corner, trying to get into the pits anyway, though. Regardless. I'm going to skip ahead of some stuff. I don't think there's going to be any car contact quite yet. Gavin. Gavin's got some damage on the rear end of his car, it looks like. Or is that just the design playing tricks on my eyes? I think that might just be the design. Oh, here is your... Caution. This was right before we were having to consider pitting. Nick just uh, gets it sideways, entering the pits. Oh, it's Trace. That's what Tracy was talking about. He didn't get sideways. He got knocked sideways. He just cut that a little bit too close. That reminds me of uh, the K5 Championship. I think he just slightly tapped somebody. Hits Nick pretty hard. That's what happened to him. That's why he was no longer in second place. That sucks. That really uh, messed up his run. Where did he end up? Still got a top 10, which is pretty good because that was a heavy hit. So lap 43. Continuing on, this is just a wall hit. Gonna keep moving forward until we see some cars side by side or otherwise just near each other. Because there are a lot of laps to cover. Nicks, or Ricks got the wall. Man, we got tons of Nicks, we got some Ricks. Lots of names that are similar. Loose. Moving right along. Such a clean race that this is all we're getting. So cool to have such a great group of drivers to race with. I don't think I did anything, did I? It's just fresh tires coming by. JP, how'd JP do? Seventh place, right where he started it off. Gavin with an awesome top five as well. Noticing that from all the way back in 24th. I guess maybe the way I should do it in the future is just look at the cautions, because there's not uh, there's a bit too much to look at, I think, in these long races. But sunken cost fallacy says I have to keep going at this point. So <laughs> if you're not interested, I guess you don't have to watch them, right? But if you are and want to know what happened out here, I've got you covered. Here's the 32, loose and overcorrects, and that was one of your later cautions that set up the fuel mileage finish. That was just a case, he got a little bit loose, and then turned the wheel a little bit too far right, trying to right the ship, and very hard hit into the outside wall. So then we've got ourselves a fuel mileage race. Things are looking different up and down the field, I imagine. Nick running that high line looks like a lot of fun, except for that part of it. <laughs> Otherwise, other than that, it looked pretty fun. What else we got? All the way to 112. Everybody taking it pretty easy this final run. Like a wall trip here in fourth place. Up into the wall. We're going to continue moving forward again. Uh-oh, what's happening here? Whoa, lots of different speeds coming by. That was very, very scary. I got very close. We're going to see what caused that final caution as well here in just a, just a little bit. It couldn't have happened one lap sooner or else we lose this race. I think that's pretty much what happens. I mean, there was still a slim chance, but if we have to pit, we go all the way to the back. If we don't pit, we have geriatric tires. And uh don't think that works too uh, well too well for us, even if it is a one lap shootout. Oh, and there it is. That was what caused it. So Eric side by side with Jordan, they are racing for position. He just gets the wall and these bodies like the like just slingshot off the wall when you try to pull it. And that's what happened here. Just tags Jordan. And that was your finish of the race. Where was I on track? I'm curious. Did we, like, just barely make it across the line or something? That'd be crazy. 
Because again, one more lap and that's it. I don't see the caution yet. Is that the caution light right there? It is. That's how close it was. Watching that light over there. It's green, green, green. And I can't see it anymore. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't as close as I thought, but I mean, we're on the front stretch at least. Is it out now? There it is. So we were that far. If we are behind the line at this point, we get another lap. One less lap of caution. I think that's how it works. I could be wrong. But even if we had one more lap of pacing, or one less lap of pacing, rather, then uh, we lose this race. Nick is just fooling around, I guess? I don't think the race is over at this point. Not sure what that's about. Seemed like he was just messing. But the race is over now, and we were the winners. That is so awesome. I feel so great about that. I mean, we had we had pretty good pace in normal conditions, but then we also had to come out and do strategy, and uh, it felt like the race was trying to do everything it could to prevent me from getting there. It said, you got to make a choice. you got to decide if you're going to save fuel or if you're just going to take the pit stop. And uh, thankfully, I guess, it looks like we chose correctly, because if, if I had pit, one of these other guys that chose that path would have found themselves up there. So we chose correctly, and that almost never happens for me when it comes to strategy. So that's refreshing. But that'll do it for this one. I'm thrilled. I'm so happy. This league is awesome. Thank you so much for, to Gavin for putting it on, and to everybody for putting on some fantastic racing. So many green flag laps. You don't get to have a fuel strategy race like that unless you're running out of fuel, <laughs> essentially. So it, to have those circumstances, you have to have a lot of green flag laps, and that's what we get in this series. Great stuff. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's going to do it for this one. I will see you soon for some more league racing and some more general public eye racing stuff as well. All right. Hope to see you there. Have a good one. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I wanted to show the results here at the end as well. I'm going to try to remember doing this to do this moving forward. Uh, so that way we can see Chuck, for example, got the fastest lap. So he'll get some bonus points. And uh, those who led some laps, which I believe is also bonus points here in the league. And that's all reflected in the final points tallies at the very right side here. So I'll go ahead and move through. You'll see Tracy led some laps. Mitch led some laps. Nicholas Wing got one, and that's all it takes. Just got a little lap, I'm pretty sure. I have to refresh myself on the rules. But uh, also, we can go ahead and take a look at the league standings after three races. We find ourselves P2 by just one point. Kevin, in the league lead, who has matched our average finish of fifth, and just barely edges us out. So, we've got ourselves... A good points race, but it's still very, very early in the season. All right, thanks. I'll try to remember to do this in the actual video <laughs> moving forward.